Hi, my name is Daniel Santiago, and I'm here to talk to you about database migrations with Room. Not a composed talk. <laughs> All right. Uh, to start, not every database needs to be migrated. So just letting that out. If, you're, if the data on your app is some sort of cache, or if the, truth, if the source of truth is your server, then there might not be a reason to perform a database migration. For these cases, Room can simply recreate the database when the app gets updated, and you can enable this via the fallback to destructive migration API in the builder. However, and this is the important part, if the data on your database is indeed the source of truth, then it is very important to perform that schema migration, because otherwise it can be a very unpleasant experience for a user to update their app and to lose it. All right, so how do we get about doing that? Well, with Room, it can be quite easy. In Room 2.0, you can take advantage of auto migrations. Uh, you simply define the from and to versions where you want to migrate. Room will look at the schemas, analyze it, and create a migration implementation. It's important to know that exporting the schemas is mandatory for auto migrations to work. Auto migrations can handle most things out of the box without any additional input. Adding new columns, adding new tables, changing foreign keys, indices, and views. However, there are certain cases where auto migrations need a little bit more information. In this example, there's a table rename, and Room is looking at these two schema files, and it can't quite really tell whether a table got deleted and a new one with suspiciously similar com columns was created. For these type of cases, what you can do is provide a migration spec, and in this migration spec, you can annotate it with one of these annotations to help resolve this ambiguous uh, situation. There's four total annotations you can use, rename column, rename table, delete column, and delete table. The other cool thing about our migrations is that Room will actually take the old data from the old table and transfer it to the new table. But be aware that there might be certain schema changes where you might need to do a little bit of extra processing, and you can do that in, uh, on post-migrate in the migration spec. And one example of that here is if we had a column that was a Boolean and we were trying to change it to an enum-like string where we change the affinity. For these cases, then you can implement that on post-migrate and execute some queries to get your data where you want it to be. Now, if data processing needs to happen before the migration, then you can use a manual migration with an auto migration. And since manual migrations and auto migrations are compatible with each other, you can have them back to back to perform two version bumps. The idea is that in your manual migration, you perform the necessary data changes in preparation for that auto migration. I'll give you an example. One example of this is if you had a table and you wanted to add a new foreign key, um, but, the but the child table has invalid references to the parent table. So what happens is if you were to add the foreign key, a foreign key constraint failure will, will occur. So what you do is in your manual migration, you write the necessary queries to sanitize the data and get it ready for that auto migration to then that add that foreign key. Some migrations are just easier when SQLite is there to help you. For example, if you add a new column that is not null, then you need to provide a default value. And you can do this with the column info uh, so that when Room migrates the data, it fills those, the existing rows uh, with, that, with the default data that you specify. Nice. So, Migration bugs are not very common, which it means, this means that it's an area of often overlooked during testing, but it's really important to test your migration because they can lead to some really bad bugs. Especially they tend to lead to databases and apps getting into a crash loop because they're you know, trying to update the database and failing and the user ends up reinstalling the app and they lose their data, which is not great. The good news is that Room does offer APIs for testing migrations, including auto migrations. And our recommendation is that you write a test for each version bump that you do. 
it's also good to put some data on the database so that you can then verify it. To do this, you use the migration test helper API, and it will enable you to create the database at an older version. You put some data in it, and then you use run migrations and validate to go over manual migrations or auto migrations, and then you'll get a database that has been migrated, validated, and then you can verify the data on it. So run migrations validate will also find those auto migrations for you. And that's really it. Uh, thank you so much. You can find more information in that link over there. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you.